go. Hello everyone, we are E3. Today we are going to introduce our experience about quantum impact. Our oral reports contains four topics, including introduction of quantum effects, experience one about paper, experience two about candles, and conclusion. And next, I will talk about what is quantum effects and how it works. In 1910, an engineer called Henry Guanda first observed the phenomenon. So, quantum effects was named after the man who discovered it. In short, quantum effect is the tendency of the fluid to stay attached to the convex surface. And the water flows down. And the convex surface close to the water flow. Water will tend to flow along the surface rather than go straight. And we can see how quantum effects work in the interesting experiment. And this principle can also apply to different designs. For example, the width of the airplane will change the airflow to over an upward force. And the wind which comes out from air conditioner will flow along the wall. Uh, quantum effects seems to be complicated, but it is often used in our life. For the first, for the first experiment to verify quantum effect, what we basically need is a piece of tiny paper and an arm. Due to the definition of quantum effect, quantum effect is a fluid showing its tendency of a convex surface. So, so from here we can know that there's two elements required in this experiment. One is the fluid and another is the convex surface. And to create the fluid, we should first create a low pressure zone by waving our hands like this. So now we, we push the air out of the zone and the zone has less air. And outside the zone got more air and it will flow into the lower pressure zone. And as we wave our hands like this, the, the air will come into and just gradually follow the curve of your hands and reach to the paper and knock it up. Like this. So for the first comparison of this experiment, we compared the compared the force between different kinds of paper. We've used five different types of papers, which is photocopy paper, image, color paper, and drawing paper, and sorry, drawing paper is and this drawing paper is and cloud color paper is and also, it's So, and the independent variable of the experiments is the di is different kinds of paper, and dependent variable is the size, the angle of the arm swing, 就是固定那个手挥的那个角度, and the distance between paper and hand. And our, our main role of the experiments is bah. <laughs> So for the the conclusion for the first part, it's more difficult to knock down the paper when the paper is harder or the grams are higher. For the second part of the experiment, 
we conquer the conquer the force between different sizes of paper. And the material of the experiment is photocopy paper. The independent variable of the experiments are the different sizes of the paper. This is the and for the dependent variable is the, the material of the paper, the angle of that the arm swings, the distance between paper and hand. And for the conclusion of this part, we, we found that it's more difficult to knock down the paper when the paper is bigger or heavier. And for the third part of the experiment, we compared the force in different distances. And we compared it once a per five meters. And And we found that it's more with the difficulty level to knock down the paper, there is a positive correlation with the distance. And and 60, 65 centimeter can only push the paper a little bit. When the distance comes to 70 centimeters, the air flow can't even test it. And for the fourth part of the experiment, we added some obstacles for the experiment. And the obstacle we used are the electric fan, and different sizes of bottle, a jar, and a plastic bucket. And the dependent, and the dependent variable are mostly as same as the one before. And for the conclusion, it's more difficult to knock down the paper when the obstacle is bigger. Um, and we think that maybe it's because the airflow can't coverage when the diameter is too big. So if we think if the obstacle is too big, it will be difficult to hit the paper. So before talking about what we have done, first let me introduce how the ex second experiment is done. When the wind, when the wind that we blow meets the obstacle, according to Coanda effect, the wind will, the air will flow along the convex surface and at the back of an object and continue a flow. So first part of the experiment, we want to compare the different force between the different obstacles. So we want to see when, whether the candle can extinguish or not. What we prepare is the candle, lighter, uh, electric fan, water bottle, jar, plastic bottle, and our main rope, Eric. He is the one who tried to blow out a candle. And the independent variable is different obstacles, and the independent variables is the candle, and the distance between every obstacle and candle. And we found that it is more difficult to blow out a candle when the obstacle is bigger. As you can see, the wind isn't strong enough to blow out a candle when the diameter is too wide. Second part, we use another way to compare. This time, we want to see how strong the wind is. So we want to see how many candles will extinguished. Same materials and independent variables, but we add another requirement into uh, dependent variables, which is the distance between candles. Uh, we got the same result. According to our experiment, when the diameter goes to 11, Centimeter, the wind can't even blow any of them out. Okay, in third part of the experiment, we compare in different distances. 
um, we chose the water bottle to be our obstacle and we will, the independent variable is the distance and we will add it like five centimeter for one minute, one unit. We found that the difficulty level to the candle, there is a positive, is there is a positive correlation with the distance, which means that if the candle is further, you, it will be harder to blow it out. And since we realized when the distance is bigger than 45 centimeters, the wind can make the candle extinguished. Here's the conclusion. The lighter or less distance the period is, it is more easily to push down the papers. And the candles will be more easily to blow out if the obstacle is smaller. In this experiment, we have found that under effect will be affected by the weight of paper distances and obstacles. In the process of this experiment, we met five some difficulties such as how to control the force of the airflow or the distance that our spin spin is at. We didn't control it precisely every time, but we think we can do it better next time. Besides, measuring a lot of data is also a challenge for us. There are always some errors. Fortunately, we finally solved the problems and also finished the experiment and that's I think this experiment is in a sense of achievement because we designed the experiment all by ourselves. It is a great experience for us. Instead the experiment, we learned another important thing, which is teamwork. We, can't, we cannot finish the work without any of this. From designing the experiment to doing the report, we did all the things together. I think this is, this is the biggest reward for us. Thank you for the Thank you. 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 Thank you